Hey everybody, Ziggy here, still yet on the floor. We're continuing our interviews with some awesome people. I'm currently here with Christine, one of the people here with Black Ice. So I got to play this game. You sent me a Steam key. I played it last week before I got here. I had fun. Can you tell us what's it, what is it about and the concept behind it? Sure, so Black Ice is a cyberpunk hacking game. Uh, you're a hacker in cyberspace hacking the servers of large corporations and we really wanted to keep it very cheesy 90s like the movie hackers so we wanted hacking to look like shooting spiders in the face with lasers so if you're a real hacker that's actually what you're doing so we thought it would be cool to show what real hacking looks like <laughs> I love it I love it it's a great concept now tell me what your role was in this game. Sure, so I'm the head writer. Um, right now, if anybody has already played the game and is wondering, head writer, I don't see any writing, um, that's because <laughs> that's what we're working on currently. Uh, right now, the game is, the way you play it is you can kind of jump in, uh, play it uh, for uh, like 10 minutes, you can play it for hours, um, but there's no real story yet. So that's what we're doing right now. And one of the things that I found uh, going to conventions and talking to people is a lot of our fans are um, parents actually who don't have a lot of time to game the way they used to. Mm -hmm. uh, they've only got a couple minutes between changing diapers or while the baby's taking a nap. So I wanted all the quests that I'm writing to be piecemeal, really chunky. So like they can come in, they can do one quest if they want and feel a little bit of fulfillment, get that story, but not feel like, oh, I have to wait for a cutscene or oh, I have to wait for a save point. So that's what we're working on right now. All of it's going to be optional. Um, the, all, all the quest lines, all the story is going to be optional. See, I love that. I love that. Because most games, like, you know, you're looking at World of Warcraft and, and, and Skyrim and all that stuff, and it's a constant, like, you have to continuously yeah. wait. And it's a pain sometimes. Because I play WoW, and I play Skyrim, I play Oblivion, mm -hmm. and even, like, playing them on PlayStation, like, it's just that constant, like, is this real over yet? Yeah, Because you exactly. can't skip you, it. No, not at all. You can't ever skip them. Yeah. And it's just like, Oh, is yeah. this ever going to end? And so it's like trying to find the happy medium between, I mean, obviously as a writer, I, I want good writing. I, I look for story in games. I want a compelling narrative. And so I'm trying to, to do that while also not force feeding people, you know, like here's the whole story and it being, you know, very like, oh, I just want to hack buildings. So I want you to hack buildings, but also why? <laughs> why right. are you hacking? <laughs> I'm trying to answer that question. <laughs> Okay, so again, this game has been greenlighted on Steam. Yeah. How much does it cost? And you know, what's the uh, what? Where is there is there any way to donate to bettering the game in the end? Um, we don't have any kind of like Patreon or anything like that. Uh, we are on Steam. We're fifteen dollars on Steam. We just raised the price actually last week. We kind of do like a Minecraft system. So the more features we add to it, we'll raise the price little by little. Um, so not doing any kind of DLC or expansion. So you buy the game once, you're going to get all the things we add in for free. Uh, so that's kind of, we really like that. I like that idea too. Yeah. Well, hey, for everything going on here at RTX 2015, keep it right here.